Hi everyone, and welcome to Almost Cancelled. I'm Peter, and I'm joined with Mario. What's up, guys? And Connor. Hey, everyone. Let's talk about X Files. This is the return of the X Files um, in the mini series 2016. Uh, we're getting six episodes. The first one aired tonight. It was called My Struggle. I guess for. I guess you would call this season ten if you want to call it anything. Yeah. So season ten, episode one, and uh, full spoilers for the episode. Um, as we always do. Now, before we actually talk about this episode, I suppose we should, we should quickly explain how much of this we've all seen. Because we're all in very different places. Um, I personally, I'm actually, I just started watching The X-Files about a month ago. I'm almost finished the first season. So, I'm familiar with it. There was a couple of references at the start that I caught and I recognised. But I'm certainly not seen it all, obviously. I've seen one season out of nine. <laughs> um, Mario... You've seen the whole thing, yeah? Yeah, I've seen all of it in movies. Right, so you're the, the expert. And Connor? I've seen nothing at all, but obviously I know all the, the main characters and, you know, the general stuff, just from More everyone Scully. knows. Yeah. yeah, you know, the stuff that everyone knows. You know, I know all that, obviously. But... Yeah, Mulder Scully, those aliens, and um, yeah. the theme tune. Of course. <laughs> it's iconic. <laughs> it's pretty iconic. Um... So, yeah, obviously it starts off with that, like, Mulder's voiceover and he's explaining just sort of the, a general history of the X-Files. Yeah, it just summarizes like, nine just, seasons just and four minutes two movies. of exposition. Yeah. <laughs> like, three and a half minutes. <laughs> uh, it did a good job, though, I think. Yeah. I think, I mean, I have to say I've watched the first season. Although the first thing is, is, I feel like most of what he said was in the first season, because I, like, all of it sounded familiar to me. Well, they, they really just kind of summarize what the like what the show's about mm. they kind of glossed over all of the you know continuity kind of <laughs> 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 yeah, i wonder how much of that and then joel McHale showed up i wasn't yep. even though i remember him being cast but at the same time i'd forgotten so when he's popped up i was like holy shit it's joel McHale. same thing happened. i caught his name at the bottom you know when it was like yeah. also starring i was like oh yeah i remember that yeah plus i also didn't know what kind of role he was going to have either yeah, turned out he's an even bigger uh, conspiracy nut than Mulder is. <laughs> he's, like, he's like a conspiracy Tony Stark. It's kind of the vibe I got for him. That sounds pretty accurate. Mm. And uh, the girl from the Americans uh, plays a yeah, yeah. possible alien abductee. Um, yep. Early on. So. Uh, so that's a cast of characters. I, I thought it was just interesting. I think... Um, Having at least watched the first season, or most of it at least, I did have some basis of uh, how important this should feel, because the stuff Mulder realizes in this episode is kind of big. It's like half yeah. the aliens. Oh yeah. Sh- yeah, half the alien shit he's ever investigated is actually not really aliens. It's just the government pretending. This to be is aliens. just <laughs> like it's kind of annoying because it's like they're trying to retcon like mm. many seasons of stuff that happened that they were. You know, convinced was a thing that happened to them and was something they were going towards and now in half an episode and a guest star from the Americans <laughs> and then like oh never mind I was wrong <laughs> it does seem to kind of change his mind seasons. very quickly Jesus it Christ. Does, yeah. I mean again yeah. like I said I haven't watched any of it and I, but I feel like it should have taken more to convince him than just mm. honestly the very little it did I don't think David Duchovny is actually a very good actor, in all honesty. No, I agree. I think he's fine, kind of. He's got a presence, but honestly, when he's explaining stuff and he's like saying, oh, this is happening, that's happening, he's never very convincing. No, <laughs> like, he's not. He, he looks kind of sleepy-eyed all the time and, you know. Um, <laughs> and that's not a dig at his age. I, I think he's like that in season one as well. <laughs> like, you know, I think he's always been like that, so. Um, hey. Um... I thought it was bold opening with a flashback to uh, Roswell's crash mm. alien spaceship um, I, I kind of felt like out of place to me honestly because I, I always thought of X-Files as the yeah we see a lot of stuff but it's kind of more about the mystery and, and it's like oh here's well, get, get ready for them to start explaining a lot of random things right, as you get further along yeah, yeah. Okay. 
because I felt so, like here's a spaceship in Roswell. It's actually there. I'm like, okay. yeah, I, I got that impression. Like when they were talking about it, like between uh, the, the two of them, they were like, oh, we we were never like they were never sure. sure. Yeah, and it felt like that. The impression I got was that throughout the nine seasons, they never committed to aliens were real. It was always a mystery. No, was what I, it was. No, that was no, the impression they, they, I got from that. Their especially, conversation especially for the audience, because even in season one, like three episodes in, you basically see a spaceship, and the audience is like, "Okay, aliens are definitely a thing. There's definitely something going on right, here." Okay. Yeah, yeah, and then it gets much worse as the, uh, as the seasons go on. What got me though is Dana. Like, surely after nine seasons and two movies. And the serious shit they've managed. Now, in season one, I did notice that Dana was conveniently not around sometimes when Mulder would see something that was obviously confer- confirmation the aliens were going on, right? But I feel like after nine seasons and two movies, she's still so fucking sceptical at everything he says. Yeah, well, it, Jesus. There's a lot of continuity in there. <laughs> I, I actually think it was... <laughs> After that initial exposition dump, I thought there was a lot of exposition still that I didn't well, really the, need. The whole thing is exposition. And, and to be fair, I mean, like, like a lot of the episodes are like that, where stuff is just kind of explained. Or, like, something happens because whatever the creature of the week does something, mm. and then it gets wrapped up toward the end where, like, they just kind of explain, like, oh, actually, when I looked at these files and it, found proof. What made it really weird was when, um, Hale, the chaos, uh, like, explained to, um, to them what things were like and like and it just felt like this is in case it's new audience that don't know mm-hmm. and can't pick up Absolutely. from context but i think it was the uh, the screen memories it was like i didn't need them to explain that i thought that was kind of i got it from the conversation but then yeah. he stops and explains it to the experts just felt really weird yeah mm-hmm. yeah and what's the problem you're running into the situation because you have at all kinds because like just like we are here you have all kinds of people that are going to tune in you have people yeah. that have never watched any of it. You have some people that have, oh, I watched like you know four or five episodes and a couple you know random ones here and there. I never watched any of the movies, or I watched just the movies, or I just watched mm. a couple seasons. Then one, you know what I mean. So alternatively, the, uh, I think the reveal at the end would like like new viewers will not get that last scene at all. No, I have no, no. idea who it was meant to be. Yeah, I I, I literally don't get it. Oh, and that. <laughs> The continuity with him is so convoluted and fucked up. <laughs> like, I, I figured pretty quickly, like, oh, okay, it's a cliffhanger with a reveal of someone. He's obviously someone everyone else knows. Mm, yeah. But it's like, I have no idea what that is. This, this has no impact on me whatsoever. Yeah. Um, but I guess the more important question is, did you enjoy it? For the most part. I think, I think there was... was it... less... Go ahead. Like I said, it was like these exposition moments were dragging me out of it quite a bit mm. and hopefully they'll kind of just forget about that a little bit more in the next episode and let it just kind of mm. tell its own thing rather than remind of all the stuff that has been right right so you, but you see enough in there to kind of get why the show's i guess liked so much yeah i think like, even if even if i didn't have to come back tomorrow to, to do the next one i probably would have checked it out anyway interesting yeah mm. yeah i mean it's a bit of a mixed bag. I, I liked it as well, for the most part. Just, um, you know, the reveal that Scully has, you know, some DNA of some kind in her as well, and that she's had some sort of abdu- abdu- abduction thing at some point, which I'm sure was in somewhere in those nine seasons. That, it was. Uh, <laughs> but I've not got to that part yet. Yeah, you get it from context, yeah. it's fine. Um, coming from you, you're worse than me for, like, not wanting to, like, jump into things without watching them in order. I know. And it's 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 annoying that that's why I wish there wasn't so much exposition because it reminds me that there's all this stuff that I need to go and watch and that's annoying. Mm. Whereas if it just kind of let itself flow a bit more, it kind of just feels like a fresh thing that I don't need to know all this well, backstory. The, the, the they told me is, what I needed to at the start. The problem is the, the the continuity is really convoluted and it jumps around a lot because the last thing we saw was the movie and that ended things in a certain place and now we've jumped to another place. So even between people that have followed everything, now there's stuff that hasn't been explained. Mm. Yeah. So you have all, you know what I mean? So they have all these jumps and things that don't quite line up, that are trying to line up, and it's just a mess. Did you enjoy it, Mario, as someone who's seen the whole thing? I guess. I mean, it, like, the acting, like, it's, 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 it's X-Files, so it's cool to see that again. 
it's cool to see Mulder and Scully back and just kind of being working together again and stuff. But like brushing apart, aside some of the continuity and like stuff being just like that's not how we ended things at the mo- end of the movie last time and now why why and mm. it sounds like you're introducing drama just for the sake of drama. Mm. I think what one pause is, is it doesn't feel like it's going to be as procedural. No, because it's it, kind of it's six episodes, and this wasn't like I was worried that they would still try and do that a little bit. Yeah, well, do, do you know what's funny about that though is that at least the impression I've gotten from season one is that I think each 22, 24 episode season had about six main story episodes, and the rest were all monster of the week sort of stuff. Yeah. So this is just those six. Yeah, it's kind of like it's kind of like they can almost do a full season of X Files in six episodes because that's really what they had per season of like the main plot. Yeah, but the only thing of difference is so you remember how okay so think like Buffy, you know you know Buffy it's the Scooby Gang doing the yeah, thing yeah. and then the end all of a sudden she's not so happy with Angel he does whatever the fuck he's gonna do some new hot boyfriend shows up oh he happens to be part of this organization that fights monsters and shit mm. and then now we can introduce that for a little bit yeah think of like, kind of like that right so even though there's a bunch of monsters of the week there's still stuff that gets introduced. Yeah, similar yeah, to that, just and it's just that sort of thing, yeah. Ho- I mean, I hope, I'm hoping um, it'll be a bit more, like Connor says, less you know focusing on exposition up the ass like this yeah. first one was. But I thought there was some cool moments. I liked uh, Mordor being shown the ship. Yeah, that was yeah. cool. That was a cool moment. It looked um, pretty good for TV. I also liked. Um, basically, Mordor, and I think this is really why the show succeeded in the first part. They've got good chemistry. Yeah. Um, so when they're when they're debating with each other or arguing, it tended to work quite well. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, the actual plot, like the whole conspiracy that he brings up, that he thinks is going on, that so let's break this down actually, right? I just so to so make sure I've got this right. So <laughs> there's people somewhere in America at the top of the food chain. But I don't know if it's po- quite politicians or just the rich people or what, but Everything, including 9-11, by the way. That's included in this. 9-11, the, the, the drive of uh, commercialism, um, gas prices, every, all this stuff, everything that's happening, it's all building up so that one day they can make it look as an attack, get us all busy looking for a war either against another country or pretend aliens, because they can do that, because they've got alien spaceships and shit. <laughs> um, so that they can forcibly take over the US from within. I don't think it's that complicated. It's just an it's just an Illuminati plot. Yeah, but they mentioned like affecting the weather and dealing, like, impacting all kinds of things. Yeah, but I world. just threw that down to Alien Tech X Files. Yeah, whatever. That was just, that was just extra fluff stuff. The actual organization. It was just Illuminati stuff. Yeah, but I don't. I don't. Why does this Illuminati want to basically? almost destroy the planet to have it what's the point to get all humans as slaves i don't think they're destroying the planet necessarily it wasn't the impression i got i got the impression they were manipulating it to affect the people like droughts affect people more than does the yeah. land necessarily uh, okay all right i just it, it, the, the word mario's used several times is convoluted it sounded very convoluted to me when he was explaining <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't think he explained it very well. But just as an Illuminati plot, I don't think it was that complex. Yeah, and it, it feels like he, he figures a lot of it out, like very quickly. quickly. Yeah. That was my biggest problem. I think aside from the exposition, just that he went from completely believing in the aliens, and it was this was an aliens this whole, all this time, all yeah. his life. Because I think the thing at the start said since he was like maybe nine. Yeah, because yeah, sister, sister, sister guys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. So it's like most of his life. And then it's, oh, never mind. It was all just some guys on some chairs with some money. Yeah. Must be that. Uh, yeah, so the no, implication is, think, I don't know what convinced him. So the implication is they're faking alien abduction so they can do tests on these women to breed, like, hybrids. That and then can... that, that was something that came up at a certain point. There were hybrids mm. that, yeah. that appeared in the show at certain points. Yeah. All very... <laughs> and their 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 child may or may not be one of them. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Um, where is the child, by the way? <sighs> so, 
<laughs> the kid was being like drugged up and kidnapped every once in a while just because of reasons. And... How old's the kid by now? Roughly. Oh. Well, it's been 14 years since the show yeah, ended. Yeah, this could be a teenager, so they gave up for adoption because he was in danger so much around them. Right. Like getting kidnapped and crap constantly. So they gave him up. He got adopted, and and presumably he's been living just a healthy, normal life. Except he's telekinetic sometimes. So they're going to find him on a farm at the end of the season, uh, named Kalel, and he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's he's going to end up saving the planet against all these bad men. Okay. Yeah. I'll be down for that. Um. Yeah, I, I don't have much more to say. I mean, honestly, I think X Files work better. From what I've seen of season one, when it wasn't as blatant that everything actually exists and is real, when there's still some mystery to it, um, when you actually get into it and it's this convoluted plot, it's not as interesting anymore. Yeah. Um, so what this I kind of enjoyed it, but at the same time, like it makes me want to keep watching season one more than it makes me want to watch episode two of this. So it's I, I thought the alien side of it was the least interesting. It was more the Illuminati conspiracy, which I thought can be a decent well, so, plot, which is why I was enjoying that side of it. At the at the beginning, there was a central villain. And mm. so he drove a lot of that stuff going forward. Because he got a bit, bits and pieces of what his control right. was and how we... You know what I mean? So you, you were kind of piecing together what how involved was he, what did he impact, what was really going on. Yeah. I might know who you're talking about. There's a lot of spoilers <laughs> that I could possibly have so yeah, I'm not yeah, yeah. spoil anything. Uh, let's, just, let's just leave it, but yeah. Uh, um, I, I think mixed bag is the ultimate. I think everyone thinks they've got chemistry, or that they're happy to see it back. Uh, honestly, I think the biggest goosebumps was when it cut to the title music and the, the yeah. theme came in. Mm. Even for Connor, who never watched, he's never seen any of it. It's a great theme. Uh, it is a great theme. Yeah, it's good. Um, also, where's the T-1000 and all this? Because he was in the show. Did he die or something? <laughs> or something <laughs> or, or something <laughs> oh man I need to watch the rest of the show now. <laughs> it's oh god I think the worst plot is the sister plot that's the worst one. Oh right so T1000's got a sister no no uh, oh, uh the, mother's sister. sister right okay oh, that's a shame that's, cause that's like the, the catalyst that so you them. know you know the, the how convoluted the Assassin's Creed present day shit is yeah. With, like, the gods and all that? Yeah. That level of crazy. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a whole level above what I was expecting. Yep. It's, it's pretty nuts. Oh, dear. Um, <laughs> all right, so... <laughs> X-Files, uh, the comeback is a bit of a mixed bag. Um, and you've got that from three different viewpoints. Um, so... We'll be back uh, with uh, the review of the next one. Um... It airs tomorrow night. We'll probably have it up sometime on Tuesday night, so you can look forward to that. And if you listen to the audio version, you don't care. It'll be next. So, X-Files! <laughs>